Hey, Amara. Just wanted to say, great job cleaning those grease traps. Spotless. Kind of inspiring, really. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, we are, mate. So, you up to much? Besides cleaning grease traps, mainly living the dream. <laughs> you know how last week you mentioned you liked boys in bands? Well, by coincidence, I've been learning the guitar. Maybe you should come round mine and I could serenade you as mates. Joe, you need to stop doing this. Doing what? Clumsily asking me out and then when I inevitably say no, making this face. I don't do that. I've got to go and stand over there. Mate, that was the most brutal thing I ever seen. And last night I saw a YouTuber bullfighter getting gored in the dick. Greetings, fellow chicken noughts. And are we ready to blast off into the atmosphere? Or should I say, batter atmosphere? Uh, point being, it's time for us to take one giant leap um, in terms of customer service. What the hell are you talking about, Oman? There's no customers to serve. Well, it's a good observation, actually, Chantal, because we have been empty for both the post-school rush and the 5pm stoner stampede. Maybe it's to do with that. Excuse me, coming through. I'm a chicken professional. This is uh, work, not pleasure. Thank you. Sorry, can I help you? Hello, Mary Fawn, uh, manager. Seriously, fried chicken? <laughs> I come in peace. Or should I say 10 pieces of chicken? It's, it's an offering, manager to manager, because uh, well, I, for one, welcome healthy competition. That's very kind. Um, but I'm sort of watching my figure. Uh, Margot. Mary Fawn, manager. Well, I, I think it's important us chicken gals stick together, don't you? God knows it can be lonely at the top. I suppose. Customers always complaining. <laughs> Men won't go out with you because they're too intimidated. <laughs> you break down crying several times a day. <laughs> it's quite an operation you've got here. Oh, we like to think so. What brings you to Croydon? Oh, we saw a gap in the market. <laughs> Not really a gap, though, is there, with us just around the corner? I suppose I'm it for proper food. Oh, sorry, that came out... Uh... Well, you know. <laughs> I love, I love this healthy competition. And I will try to fix you. So when you're making your next move, my suggestion... I didn't ask for one. Tell her you're terminally ill. Girls love a charity case and tears are a powerful lubricant, my friend. OK, A, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. And B, I don't need any suggestions. Because I'm giving up. There's only so much humiliation I can take. What? Well, mate, you can't give up. It's like the time I tried to break my record for most wanks in a day. Sure, I wanted to give up after the eighth one, but I managed through perseverance. And by putting a finger up... Oh, please, stop talking. Hello, uh, everyone. Um, now, you're probably all wondering why I've called you here. No, we not couldn't really. give a shit. No, I want to um, address the Poule situation um, head on. Now, I know that our uh, recent lack of uh, custom has been unsettling. What? I'm loving it. Give me more time to study my Mandarin. Why are you learning Chinese? Why shouldn't I? They're going to be the world's four more superpower by 2020. OK. No, what I mean is, seriously, fried chicken shouldn't be afraid of a little healthy competition. Mary's right. We shouldn't be afraid. We should be terrified. This is an unprecedented threat on a colossal scale. Thanks, Eric. N well, I, for one, think that we can take on Poule and win. Yeah, like, let's mess them up. Like, we can get one of their burgers, yeah, and fill it with pubes, and then be like, um, <laughs> Whoa, I didn't order pubic hair with this. No, no, under no circumstances. Come on, I got a bag of mine right here. Oh god, I feel sick. Why have you got them on you? Be prepared, innit? Plus, I like to keep everything smooth down there, like a sea lion. 
There will be no need for such antics. Thank you, Ed. Because I, your manager, will come up with a brilliant plan to bring customers back. And what would that be then? Hmm? There are many, many possibilities. So, for example, Joe could play his guitar outside the shop to drum up business. Oh, God, no. By singing, and I'm blue skying here. A famous song, but with the uh, lyrics changed to be about seriously fried chicken. What would that even be? Um, okay, so for example, um, something like, Don't you wish your nuggets were nice like mine? Don't you wish your nuggets came with fries like mine? But I mean, obviously better than that. Don't you wish your nuggets were nice like mine? Don't you wish your nuggets came with fries like mine? Don't you? Get a real job! Don't you? This is so embarrassing. What? Man, people are loving it. They keep chucking us coins. No, they keep throwing coins at us. Right, forget this. I'm going to pay a visit to those band wankers. Let's just say things are about to get a bit hairy. Definitely don't do that. Too late. Wheel's already in motion. All right, little fellas, now's your time to shine. Hey. Please, don't hurt me. Sorry, I thought you were going to throw coins at me or call me a chicken prick. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't get us off to a good start, would it? I'm Jojo. I work at Poulet, etc. Joe, just the one. Nice performance. I like the bit about the nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I was going for that Jimi Hendrix type vibe. Ooh, that came across. I'd love to know if you have any gigs coming up. Here's my number. Your number? For, like, to call you with? Unless you're not allowed to date girls from rival chicken shops. This Poulet burger is amazing! All due respect, boss, I'm not sure you appreciate the gravity of this situation. I've seen it happen before. When I were at Wimpy, we had a Burger King moving on our turf. Our manager, Steve, he thought we could just stay chipper, ride out the storm. Two months later, we were out of business and Steve was dead. Oh, my God. Oh, he killed himself. No. Got hit by a tram. Still. Makes you think. Does it? Look, Mary, let's cut the crap. I hate you and you hate me. What? You, you hate me? It's a figure of speech. My point is, we'll only survive this poole, etc. threat if we work together. Use me, Mary. Let me be your tool. Thanks, Derek. I appreciate that. Mm. Yes! What's up? Did you win your eBay bid on that Doctor Who duvet? No. I've got a date tonight. Oh, it's the 14th. What? No. I didn't ask the date. I said I've got a date. Sorry, I'm not following you. I've got a date. I'm having dinner with Jojo from Poulet. Oh, she's so great. We really seem to get each other. Hmm. It's great, mate. My advice? Treat her mean, keep her keen. That's why when I'm in a club, I always introduce myself to ladies by saying, I'm gonna kill you. Works every time. Okay, that's less advice than obvious bullshit. Treat her mean, keep her keen. If it ain't true, then how come it rhymes? Yeah, exactly. So we haven't had a customer in the last 48 hours. And I know that you lot, whose commitment to seriously fried chicken inspires me every day, are crying out. And you're saying, Mary, please use your immense uh, managerial talent to save our shop. <laughs> well, fear no more, for I have heeded your call. I present to you the ultimate weapon in the fight against Poulet, our very own hashtag. I have been tweeting this bad boy all day, and as soon as it starts um, trending, uh, we will be flooded with hip, young... What are shit nuggets? Uh, I beg your pardon? Designed seriously fried chicken shit nuggets? No, because um, no, it says seriously fried chickens hit nuggets, because our nuggets are always such a hit. They won't be if you call them shit nuggets. I don't... I don't it, stop saying that, because it's not that. 
It, come on, this is the start of the fight back, guys. This is seriously fried chicken. United, taking a stand. Oh, God! It's like my mouth is having a lovely orgasm. Ed, can you please not eat poulet in here? Sorry, boss. This is so much better than our shit nuggets. Right, I'm off for my date. My date, I'm having with Jojo. God, when's he going to stop banging on about Jojo? Fact is, you've been bitten by the green-eyed monster. <laughs> like I'd be jealous of someone desperate enough to go out of Joe. That girl must be a steak. Hey, Tiger. Ready to go? Absolutely. Wish me luck. Shugu Nuha. Shin Tamahan Khan. This place is great. Really unpretentious. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a regular here. Sometimes, instead of having a main, I'll just get two kids' meals. Small food for less money. That is so smart. <laughs> you know, I was nervous there'd be some kind of catch, but I'm actually having a really good time. I feel so comfortable around you. Here you go, here's your belt. Oh, out of cash. I work in a chicken shop, so I'm pretty loaded. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll take care of it. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Are you stealing? Yeah. Do it all the time. What if she caught you? Oh, I'm sure I could handle her. I've been in loads of fights. And on the way home, she started yelling at this poster of Ben Fogel. I'm worried she might be kind of a psycho. Yeah, a fit psycho. Well worth it, mate. I, I could be in danger. I'll tell you what's in danger. You're a lad points if you don't get with her. Why do I tell you things? I'm definitely not seeing Jojo again. Oh, hey, Joe. Wow, looking good. Have you been working out? No. But I did recently switch to drinking Dark Fanta. Well, maybe we can get some Diet Fantas together sometime. Yeah, boy! What was that? I seen this in the porn. Now that you're taken, she totally got the hots for you. <sighs> Come on, no. She wants to call me the sexual equivalent of Cress. Everybody knows being with a fit girl makes other girls fancy you. That's just basic maths. You've got to keep seeing Jojo. Make Amara jealous. You think? Mate, I take a keen interest in female psychology. Why do you think I watch so much girl on girl, huh? Harry, you all right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yes. Uh, why wouldn't I be? Healthy competition, uh, drive on the stuff. I, I haven't slept in 72 hours, but week is for the sleep. Right. It's just early you did deep fry your phone and call me daddy. May I confess something to you, Derek? I'm afraid. I haven't been this worried since Gareth suggested I start sleeping in the bath. I have been up all night brainstorming. And the best idea I've had is cat waiters. Which means literally nothing. I mean, yes, 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 it, it would be cute, but how are they going to carry the trays? How are they going to deal with the complaints? Permission to speak freely, boss. Um, permission granted. The time for niceties is over. This is a street fight. If you really want to beat these guys, you've got to cover yourself in grease and wrestle them naked to the ground. I'm not sure that's how street fights work, but go on. I took the liberty of acquiring this from young Edward's locker. Let's say you found a couple of these bad boys in a poulet burger. Who'd be laughing then? I can't. It would go against my every managerial principle. You got any better ideas? Enter the tail, now! Shit! I'm kidding! Just wanted to see how my boyfriend's doing. Oh, OK. <laughs> Boyfriend? Yeah. I mean, I assumed. What with dinner and holding hands and the theft? I thought things were going really well. Do you not want to go out with me? Well, of course I do. Oh, hi, Amara. Didn't see you there. Don't normally notice anything when I'm with my love. 
Puffin. Cool. Toilet's overflowed. Derek wants you on mop duty. I should get back to Poulet. Can't afford to lose this job. They're like the only place that'll hire me, what with my, you know, criminal record. <laughs> <laughs> criminal record? Oh, bit of attempted this, aggravated that. <laughs> anyway, see you tonight. Love, Puffin. Mary, hi. Hello. Um, just thought I'd uh, see how my fellow chicken gal was getting on. I'm great, thanks. We just had some lovely reviews in. Croydon Foodie said, we're transcendent. Oh, gosh. They called us a threat to public health. I mean, since when has two rats been an infestation? Um, I'd like a burger, please. Just thought I'd check out the competition. Amazing. You should so try our Sardinian chicken surprise. Yes, I think we'll both be surprised. How much do I owe you? Hey, it's on the house. Manager to manager. No, I, I, I think that I should pay for... Hey, what's that? That. Those... They're spices. Mysterious spices from the Orient. Cool. Can I have a taste? No, I'd really rather that you didn't. Come on, I promise we won't steal your recipe. <laughs> no! Oh, God, sorry. Uh, uh, are you OK? Fine. Just got some oriental spices on me, is all. I might go and wash them off. Quite a lot went in my mouth. Hey man, check out this sweet hat. Poulet gives you one for free when you have your 20th burger. But they've only been open for three days. Eh? Yeah, I know. How's the love life? Uh, Jojo is a bit terrifying. I reckon I should break it off. What about if she breaks it off? I'm talking about your dick. Yeah. Maybe do that less? Mate, you can't give up on the jealousy plan. You've nearly got Amara exactly where you want her. In bed with you. She did say I look less spindly than usual. I should go speak to her. Oh, hi. Jojo, isn't it? Um, I'm Amara. This area's kind of employees only. Oh, oops. Sorry. It's always a pain when someone goes where they're not allowed. By the way, what's the deal with you and Joe? Joe? We're just mates. Feels like there's a vibe between you guys. Am I crazy? Trust me. You've got nothing to worry about. <sighs> That's a relief, because if you did try anything, I'd have to wait in the car park after dark and slash your Achilles tendons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. You don't want to find out what I'm willing to do. <laughs> oh, so you're sure you should be having all them Lambrinis? This is my darkest hour, Derek. No customers, haven't slept in days. Also, I keep finding Ed's pubic hairs down my collar. Hey, hey, don't cry. Makes you look grotesque. Perhaps I should just accept defeat. You mustn't give up. That's not the Mary Stamatopoulos I know. His surname's Fawn. It, it doesn't matter. All that matters is this place. These people think. What does seriously fried chicken have that Poulet never could? A patch of mould that looks like Wayne Rooney? No. A manager who loves it more than anything in the world. And as much as I hate you... You hate me? figure of speech. I know that you can take on these monsters and win. You're right. You're right. I may have taken some knocks this week. I may have even stooped to attempting pubic sabotage, but perhaps that's just what Mary Fawn needed in order to come up with the most ingenious management idea anyone has ever had! Hi. 
Yeah, I couldn't believe the news when I heard it just within this last hour. Thank you. The police think it was arson. I mean, who could have done this? Probably the young toughs that frequent the area. Yeah, that's how it would have been, those uh, aforementioned youngs. Hey, mate. What's up? Nothing. Just having a nice, non-sexual conversation with my co-worker. Everyone can see that. Oh. Hello. I mean, wait. It's, it's my love puffin. <laughs> I'm sorry your job burned down. It's props for the best. I was taking a lot from the register. What were you and Amara talking about? What? Oh, nothing. Don't ever betray me. Yeah. No. I won't be doing that. <laughs> Oh, God, I've made a huge mistake. What's this about a huge mistake? I haven't made a huge mistake. No one ever know who burned down Poulet. I mean, anyone could have gone mad on Lambrini and sleep deprivation and done something rash around 3am. I was talking about Jojo. Mary, did you burn down the van? <laughs> no. <laughs> right, that is just about the most ridiculous. Please don't tell anyone. What? Oh, my God. They've come to take me away. I'm not made for prison. I mean, which gang should I join? Just act normal, OK? Uh, Miss Fawn? I'm PC Hughes. Uh, I'm making some informal inquiries into last night's incident involving the uh, Poulet etc. van. Ah, uh, 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 that, that. We've all seen a van. <laughs> we, um... Have um, a uh, disorder of the um, sweat glands. It's like crying, but with your whole skin. I demand a lawyer. Well, as I say, this is an informal inquiry. There's something you want to tell me? Well, I um, well, that is to say, I. Actually, officer, this is hard to say, but. One of their staff, Jojo, I think her name is, has, like, prior convictions. You might want to talk to her. That's a serious accusation. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I am. Thanks for your help. And I really would get that sweat thing checked out. Thank you, Joe. Don't mention it. Like, literally, don't mention it. Ah, 11 a.m. Time for my first double poulet burger of the day. Wait, have you not heard? Their van got torched. What? No! Why? You can have one of ours. Yeah, actually, I prefer these anyway. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Mary, hello. Oh, hi. Um, I, I just came to see if I could be of any help, really. Uh, as chicken girls, got to stick together. That's sweet, but really, I'm fine. Just talk to the insurance people. Turns out we're getting a fortune. Enough to move to a permanent location in a much better area. In a way, this is... Uh, the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, right. Well, I'm, I'm glad. Gavin! Ah, oh, there's Gavin. It's my husband. He's just back from his medical conference. And now we're going for a five-star spa weekend. Uh, Mary, it's been really interesting meeting you. Best of luck with KFC. I always knew they'd be back. 
I guess uh, Hule couldn't handle a bit of healthy competition. Or, or should I say, they couldn't take the heat. You definitely shouldn't. So I broke up with Jojo. How'd she take it? Not great, no. But it's fine, because she's under house arrest now, so she can only stab me to death if I'm within 30 metres of her property. Nice work, Casanova. Would you still be up for getting that drink? Obviously not. Right. Yeah, of course. More Fried next Tuesday, 10.30. And tomorrow at 10 o'clock, the top coppers are back and they have new roll neck sweaters. Plus, there's an infamous art thief in town, no doubt causing a little bit of trouble in Justice City. Are mahogany and rust up to the job? Of course they are. Well... Thank you.